and I've played the guitar since I was 15 or 16, so it's been a big part of my life. I, lo I love the sound of it, and I love how versatile it is. You can play from country music to folk music to classical. There's all kinds of ways you can play a guitar. I thought I had said goodbye to that, so that's been a wonderful gift to have that back. For 69-year-old Connie Finney, it is about so much more than just the melody. Mostly just joy. Um, it's a very joyful experience for me. Brings me some sense of peace. For a time, her talent and that sense of peace were lost to side effects from Parkinson's, which she was diagnosed with 17 years ago. I couldn't play before because my finger dexterity was was kind of shot, and my my hands and arms couldn't keep a steady rhythm because they were jerking around from dyskinesia and tremors. And on top of all that, my my legs were shaking, so I couldn't hold the guitar on my lap. Her medication wasn't as effective as it once had been, and the uncontrolled movements became even worse and affected even more. I, sometimes I couldn't eat because I, my, I couldn't hold my head still enough or my hands still enough. Cooking my meals, handwriting, anything with my hands that required my hands to be steady. Doctors at Buffalo General Medical Center, Gates Vascular Institute, knew Connie would be a great candidate for deep brain stimulation. Electrodes in her head, connected to and controlled by a generator implanted in her chest. This is basically always on. It's always constantly stimulating um, the brain to uh, modulate the brain function and help with her ongoing symptoms. Traditionally, a patient is awake for this procedure, so nerve and brain activity can be monitored. But doctors decided Connie probably couldn't tolerate both being awake and being off her medication because of her severe tremors. So they used technology called ClearPoint Neuro, which allows them to perform surgeries in the MRI unit instead of a traditional operating room. We are doing an incision, we drill a small hole uh, in the skull, and through that hole we insert our tools that are, that are MRI compatible. So what's unique about this technology is that it, the whole system is compatible with, with the MRI. Think of it as a real-time roadmap of the brain. What's unique with ClearPoint is that during the case you can image and re-image and make sure that as you advance you're doing it safely, avoiding any blood vessels, and, um, and getting to the target. When it comes to brain surgery, there is little room for error. Being off target could negatively affect a patient's speech or vision, cause weakness, or even worse, cause bleeding, stroke, or other permanent deficits. So having these procedures done under MRI guidance with submillimetric accuracy gives us the confidence that we're in the right target without, a, you know, without any complications despite the fact that the patient is asleep. ClearPoint Neuro enables us to do other procedures, not just deep brain stimulation. We can do um, um, epilepsy procedures, ablative procedures. We're using laser for, um, you know, for, for epilepsy, for tumors. We can do biopsy from very, very, um, I would call them eloquent and uh, deep structures in the brain that would otherwise be very risky. For Connie, any risk was well worth the reward. I've had no dyskinesia, absolutely zero, since the surgery. And tremors I have just the occasional, sometimes with my right hand. But I think we've cured that too now. And with time, the stimulation might also help the muscles in her neck that are causing her head to droop. All the good news is not over yet, in other words. Since her surgery back in February, Connie is back to doing what she loves, sewing quilts, tackling huge puzzles and her collection of board games, and spending plenty of time in her garden. That's what, why we do what we do, and uh, that's um, why I chose functional neurosurgery, which it's a whole field that basically works on the quality of life of our patients. 
interacting with the nervous system to improve their level of function. I said to, to a number of friends I had um, afterwards, I said I had deep brain stimulation and this proves that I have a deep brain because I couldn't have stimulated it otherwise. <laughs> so. <laughs> and as you heard there, her sense of humor is still very much intact. The technology is amazing, just amazing. 